Hey love bugs, it's Riles and back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed and doing blessed and highly favored. I definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing and seeing the beautiful family. As always, thank you so much for the love and support. It is truly, truly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you've been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please drop a line. I would love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. And if you feel like the videos just give you a good vibe or uplift, please go ahead and give a thumbs up and share. And if you've been with me for a while and I haven't heard from you in a while or you haven't heard from me, drop a line. I would love a chance to, you know, hear from you again. Um, and send so much love and light towards your way, whatever you're needing to stay persistent and consistent towards your, your path of purpose and whatever you're trying to pinnacles you're trying to surpass. I'm sending so much love towards you a million times fold. Anybody who's coming in for self Lord, if you're coming in for anything that's distracting, defeating, or whatever that's trying to go out there and hurt me, hey, everything is divinely loved, protected, and guided towards in every way. So whatever you're trying to do, I'm sending it towards you and it's coming back towards you in a million times fold. The video I'm doing today is called Twin Flame 101. Hey, Okas, you're making choices in your own vibe to say, I am worth that. I deserve that. Yes. When you know you got standards and you raising them, you raising that bar. You got a bar. I'm like, baby, I got bars and I'm going to stay to raise them. If you cannot reach that, hey, good luck to you. <laughs> you know, it could be those different things where I was, I, you know, I was at that point in my life. Where I was the lowest point in my life where I've seen the company I was keeping, where I've seen where these people did not like me. They weren't, uh, they had no good intentions for me. You know, different things like that. And I had to be able to alleviate myself from that. But it would be so many different things that I had to deal with up close and personal with that where I couldn't just walk away. You know, it would be some people that you got to deal with in school or different people got to deal with at work. Where you am like, okay, I got to be selective with you. Or I'm going to just deal with you when I have to deal with you. And I was, I used to be that type of person. Well, I still am. Because I said, I'm only dealing with you because I have to. You know, where I'll tell people I'm tolerating you. You know, and I'm not saying that in a messed up well shoot. If you tell somebody that it is, you know, because if it's like if I had a choice and I had a choice to pick something else, it'll be that something else. It would never be in that vicinity of that person, you know, and it's not trying to be hurtful, but that's just the truth. You know, it's, I guess there's no polite way of saying that I don't funk with you. <laughs> you know, I just, you know, I'm on my little shamo. I don't fuck with you, you know, and it, it had to be at that point because I noticed when I settle, when I notice, you know, when you on that vibration of healing, you're on that vibration of changing yourself for better, you know, you have to be very selective on anything that you, you welcome into your vibration. They always tell you, you got to be very selective about that. What all is in your, your circle don't mean it's all in your corner. You had to be able to you you had to be able to do that. You know you're the captain of your ship, but a lot of times people get mad because they can't steer that ship. You know they start diving, they start you know drilling holes in your stuff just because the fact is they cannot be that person that is driving your ship. And it's just at that point where you're moving in life, where you know your worth. When you know your worth, you are not settling. I know I've seen what happened when I settled. You know, and that wasn't a good thing for me, but. I see that was necessary for me to have to go through just to be able to show. Because a lot of times, you, there's people that come into your life to where you see and where your certain vibes that are very toxic towards you in your life. That you needed those people to come into your life to where it shows you this is what you're projecting out. This is how you're moving. And a lot of times, we don't notice those things until we're seeing it from coming from other people. And you had to be that way. You had to be able to go through those things where you're seeing like, hey, that's how I'm moving. Like, yeah, <laughs> that's what I'm doing. This is how I'm acting. Yeah, this is what it is when I'm moving this way. Yeah. Do you like what you see? No. You know, and you, I mean, and you can be at that vibe where you're telling somebody, hey, this is not a good look for you. Or, hey, you know, and it'll be just like, I notice what you're doing and I notice this is what, you know, this is what attracted us. But this is why I'm showing an outside end where that's not attracting. That's appalling. That's not appealing. <laughs> you know, so I had to be able to be able to change that. Because there's a lot of times where, you know, I connected with people we were based on because we shared a lot of wounds. 
you know we share a lot of wounds but it'll be different things where something good could have came out that relationship even though let me let me retort everything came good out of it but you know a lot of the relationships I had it was you know it was connecting because of those wounds it served a purpose on what I had to change what I had to heal what I had to let go of and then it was that it was an expiration for that and then it went a lot the way you know even when people are not in my life anymore and it ended it didn't end on a good note I still wish them well and you know that's it'll be that's where you know your growth is in life and even when that person is not meant to be in your life you're still wishing them the best of luck even when somebody's you know i've had people in my life where i've missed them all but all everything that was well you know and it would be at that point where i seen where they lowballed the mess out of me because they had issues with themselves that had nothing to do with me but they made they wanted to create it try to say it was an issue that had something to do with me when it had all to do with them and i still wish them well and that lets me know even you can love people from a distance even when they showed you nothing but hate that lets you know you're in a vibe of growth because you don't wish that person what they wish them you know and it'll be different times where people come back into your life and it'll be uh, they, you know that they didn't have good intentions for you and they probably still feel like oh okay that person's still growing that person's still thriving that person's becoming better let me come in and see what kind of other damage I can do in my life but you're making decisions like oh I see you still on that vibe and then when you came in my life you brought back that same memory on the reason why I had to take you up out of my life and I'm still cool <laughs> you know, so I'm, I'm still cool but i'm gonna uh, allow you not to come back into my life because i learned those lessons there'll be different times where i can say i really missed the person but then it'll be just like you can still be cordial and say hey you know it's good hearing from you and you know doing that but you ain't got to bring them back into your life though because you knew you that was just a lesson and i tell people it don't you know it's like all oh, this is you know uh, this person was this, this, and that. You and you put kind of net. You you put a narrative on there, uh, a narrative label on that person, and we have to be at that vibe. Like this person came in to be a blessing of a lesson. There's a lot of people coming into your life, and it will bring so much love and joy and encouragement into your life. And I love those, you know, and I appreciate them. I always tell you, I love the fact that you you help me see the good in me. You know, even in your enemies, they help you show the good in you too. But it took something negative to bring that mess out. You know, it can, you know, they how, how they say where people can bring in the good into you as well. They can bring the bad into you. But it'll, it'll be those different things where you making choices where is this deserving of you? Is, is this something that's supporting where you're trying to go? Because this is where when you got that mindset into your life like now. Nah, Messing with you is going to get me into a setback or messing with you is going to keep me in a setback or messing with you is going to keep me in a place where I no longer need to be. So I need to leave you exactly where that, that vibe need to be at right there. And I'm moving on, you know, but I appreciate what you uh, you help me see because there's a lot of times where we go through stuff and we're just hating of what that person brought out of us or you're hating about what you know the experiences with that person but we have to be able to change see the bigger picture these people came into your life to teach you some kind of valuable lesson you need to know about yourself about where it, it could have been in a vibe where you see where this is going this is very dangerous and you see the choices that person is making and it's in you right down the road with them and you needed to go through that that was that wake up call you know, because there'll be different times where I'm seeing the stuff that I do now and the choices I'm making now. I, I, I needed my, you know, I look back at the choices I made back when I was younger. And I've been like slapping myself like, girl, <laughs> this is going to land you either in prison or a coffin. You cannot be doing these different things anymore. But I'm glad I went through those things because it showed me so much about myself, about what I don't need to be. Because there's a lot of people we see that has not upgraded from what they used to do you know and it'll be those things where they're still doing the same thing that's that they got worse they upgraded on havoc they upgraded on drama they upgraded on setbacks you know but i'm at that point where okay i i just accept what that person is doing but that's not what i'm doing i'm basing my motives and my moves and my agendas off of what i know i'm worth and when you're doing that people are like oh you're being picky yeah 
Man, you, 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 yeah, you damn right. I sure am being picky. You just don't know what you want. Yes, I do know what I want, but it's not investing in what you want for me. And that's where the issue is. But when you're that person, when you know you are dead set on not being manipulated or you're not going to be uh, flexible about your boundaries and how you move through that, you got to be prepared to be rejected. You got to be prepared to be hated, disliked. You know, oh, that's hard to get along with. I rather for me be hard to get along with than hard to get over, or hard to be playing with. I I rather be that. Yeah, yeah, I'm known for that. You know, because it used to be, it, it was easy when I, you know, how um I I get those vibes where people say I don't like this new person she's becoming because it's not investing in your you know your <laughs> your intentions. So I couldn't be in that, but I know what I'm worth. And I know what where I'm going through, and it's like the the intentions that you have for me is not going to invest in bettering for myself because it's not benefiting you. So I had to be able to not do that anymore. So it will be those different things that were taking place in my life that I can say was truly beneficial for me because it showed me on where I needed to upgrade myself, what where I needed to change my mindset, on where I needed to create. And be open for that. And so for those things to you know to happen and be to where they needed to be, I start making choices on knowing what I'm worth. And then when you're doing that, you're not gonna settle for nothing. You going you know, I'm keep raising my standards to where, you know, and I know I said I think I said that in my last video I, I was doing, um, where you know, even when it talks about, you know, dating. You, you know, I, I want whatever I'm projecting out to somebody, I want it to be reciprocated or more. Like, you, you're you making me love myself. You're making me love myself more. You're making me uh, become a better person. You're making me see the things I didn't even know existed. You know, you want somebody to come in and show you your, you know, how you can say, oh, that person completes me. No, you were already completed before that person came in all life. They were just adding on an extra. That's your blessing plus, you know, is not even saying a plus one because when they bring out the best into you, that, that's a, a blessing that is infinite. That's a blessing that just keeps reoccurring, but it's becoming better. You know, that person is making you love life. It's making you experience things. They're challenging you. They call you out when they feel like you're slacking. We need people like that into our lives to where they're not okay with us being mediocre. Like, why are you playing mediocre? Why are you playing second fiddle to your life? Why are you sitting back in the backseat of your life? I know you apply yourself better. When you when you start making those, even when you have to have those self self talks with yourself, like baby, I'm sleeping on myself. Why are you Why are you giving yourself half ass vibes? You know your value. You ain't gotta explain your cost to nobody. When you know your value, you know your cost. But you ain't gotta explain that. People should already see that. And if they can't recognize that, you got to recognize yourself being in a different way, you know, and you're making choices like that. If that makes you a stuck up person or that makes you a picky person, that that's compliments. Or, you know, even when people, it was like, oh, you crazy or this and this and that. Anytime you speak in your truth and you know, you, you are, you are standing firm in that you become delusional, you become difficult and you become crazy and that's okay. Even you become a freak. And you know I used to get mad at that. And it's like no don't get mad at that. Because somebody say you freaky or you weird. That means they ain't came across a person like you. You know. you When you speak something. They'll awaken something in them. They either they're going to love the fact that you woke in that. Or they're going to run from it. It's either or. But when you're making those choices. And you're moving through it. You know what you're worth. So I hope you were able to resonate with the content of this video y'all. Um, it, it's like I leave my my contact uh, contact information in the description box below. It's all about spiritual networking. Just to be able to open up. To be in a vibe of somebody you can really reciprocate with. And I really love that. You know where we can be able to talk on things. And just be able to grow together. And be able to support. There's so many people out here just trying to tear us down. There's so many people that don't want to see the best in you. And that's not me. And you know I always tell people I want to be encouraging. I want to bring a, a, a healthy vibe into your life. I want to awaken something into you that you may not recognize before. And I love being able to do that. And I feel like it's a blessing. Because we're, we're all doing that towards each other. We're 
waking up something that we didn't realize. And you want to be able to bring the best out of people instead of the worst. So, you know, I'd be able to love to, you know, network with different people and just being able to understand the, the path of your purpose and have a deeper understanding about that. And whatever we discussed, it, discussed is, uh, uh, is discreet. So I'll help out the best way I can. You know, also, you know, hey, go by my community uh, section of my channel. It has different posts, whether it's uplifting, encouraging, or a friendly reminder, or just a funny impact meme, or just a meme, you know, just to be able to make you laugh. Or I have my different podcasts on there as well um, from my uh, my podcast uh, uh, channel on Spotify. Um, it's different things that I talk about. It's not the same stuff, but it'll be just on the same kind of content. So, you know, whenever you're seeing this, I hope, you know, I'm sending so much love and light, prosperity, abundance, and blessings towards you. You know, when you're working hard, I hope you succeed on, on getting whatever more that you never imagined is coming into your life. So I want to be able to send that towards your way. So wishing you so much love and abundance and prosperity, growth, healing, and balance and enlightenment towards your life. And, um, you know, even through social distancing, make sure you give out love, light, positivity, words, vibes, frequencies. You never know. All those things that really take you a long way, uh, them a long way. And just because you're doing it for positive intention, it's taking you even further. So much love to you. God bless. Shalom. I say God bless. Peace. And please be safe and prosperous. Um, I said prosperous. Yeah, be that too. But safe and responsible for everything you do. Much love. Peace.